what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. And we are back with the nationally syndicated film critic and that 70s star. You saw him a little while ago. It's Ryan J. of course, talking movies. Great to see you. Great to see you, too. Thanks. I absolutely love what you're wearing. We were talking fashion earlier with our intern, Charles. And you Shop look, privy. You look fantastic. Oh, I love you. it. Thank you. Yeah, I love Aaron there. Um, but yeah, you look fantastic. Thank Do you, you want to talk about your first movie before you talk about your outfit a little bit? Yeah, Bullet Train is like if Agatha Christie and Quentin Tarantino had a baby. <laughs> This movie would be it. That's you the know? offspring? Yeah, it's action, it's mystery, it's thriller, it's really great effects, it's very cool. The and cool who's factor. starring in this movie? Your boyfriend, Brad Pitt. I love it. Does yes. he do a good job? He is the epitome of cool. Like no the way. The minute you see him, I think this is his best role. It's my favorite movie I've ever seen him in. Really? I mean, the movie, but also his character in this movie. He is just so cool, he's so fun, he's got such swagger in this film that I just want to see him do this role again and again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I saw my favorite movie that he's in, probably no one's seen, is A River Runs Through It. So Excellent. I got to make sure he tops that movie in this. Yes. So what about the director? Are you, are you right. liking that part of it too? I do like that part because it's directed by David Leach, who did two Deadpool movies, Atomic Blonde, John Wick. And so you know this is going to be a super amped, super pumped, exhilarating film. And he really delivers on his brand. The, uh, fight scenes, right? Last, so is, cool. Okay. So cool. The effects in the fight scenes are like just innovative and unlike anything you've seen before. Plus the location and the storytelling during the fight scenes and the humor within the fight scenes take them to a next level. It also stars Joey King, who we see there in a little pink dress a little bit. She played um, China Girl in Oz the Great and Powerful. That's why I'm wearing this pin today. Oh. But see it. It's in theaters now and see it. I think it's one of the year's best films. Wow, bullet train. OK, it's yes. rated R. It's in theaters. Thus the pin, so yes. that that's her. Oh, mm -hmm. it's so cute with that, that vintage you. style pin. Easter Sunday, rated PG-13. This one also in theaters, right? Yes, and this stars uh, stand-up comedian Joe Coy. We've been you know, plugging it all, all throughout the show, and I got a chance to catch up with him about the film. It's his debut movie, so check it out. You got to follow your dream and become a beer spokesman. That was my dream. Let's get the party started, baby! In your educated opinion, why do stand-up comics make such great actors? I, I can't speak for all comics, but I will say the ones that like to act out characters on stage, uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a good transition into film. You still worked with an acting coach. What did you take away from that experience? This was my debut, man. Like I was so nervous, you know. So I wanted to make sure I was a good leader because I was I was in every single scene. So I was blessed to have a great acting coach, and then on top of that, my my cast was phenomenal. I was with all these vets that that just held my hand through every scene. You know, when I saw the Subaru, I was thinking to myself, oh, there gotta be two ladies in a Labradoodle. But nope, it's you, Joe. Yeah, it's me. It's Tiffany Haddish. Yeah. You gotta share with me some fun behind the scenes story. Well, you know, Tiffany and I go way back and she was literally just a phone call. Like there was no negotiation process. There was no, your agent talked to my agent. It was literally Tiffany, I got this deal. And she's like, all right, tell me when I'll be there. This movie's so fast paced and so fun. You've packed so many genres into this film. You've got family comedy, crime action, drama, romance, coming of age, holiday movie. What, no horror? <laughs> Yo, that's a good one. Yes, that's next. Maybe that should be a standalone. Can we go get coffee? You can go ahead and email me. Pretty much the same, just take the AOL off. That Nessa at, at dailycity.gov. Got it. Uh, oh, that's so great. He is hilarious. He is hilarious. And the whole ensemble in this film is so funny. It also co-stars Rodney, too, who we know went to high school in Marquette with our producer, Katie. And he hey. was fantastic also in this movie. He was? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. I love it. So this is a see it. This is a see it in theaters. It's really great. I would take a sequel. Okay. I love fun. it. It's a very fun movie. You want to revisit. It's family so great, you almost wish it would spin off to its own TV show. Oh, that's so great when that you, you feel that way. And you're dressed sort of like Easter Sunday. So yes. you just got the right outfit for every movie. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the next one is PG-13. Um, this is DeRosa, Life, Love, and Art in Transition. Yes, and this is the first documentary feature from director Angelo Thomas, who previously did The Incredible Jake Parker, and it's so well made. It tells the story of Felicia DeRosa, who is a transgender artist, and all that she went through in the struggle. And it's really interesting because you know how we often use the metaphor, 
you have to walk in another man's shoes or yes. another person's shoes to really be able to identify or before you really can understand what their life's experience is like. We can't actually do that. But great art, great storytelling, movies like this are the closest thing we have to putting you in someone else's shoes to understand their experience. So did you feel watching this that it was informative? Did you feel like it was well made? Did it, did it accomplish that of allowing you to see life through someone else's eyes? A hundred percent. I mean, I felt like the comments that were Felicia would talk about, first of all, there's so much great Art Carvel footage. You had no idea they filmed so much throughout their lifetime, but she felt like she was wearing a costume as a boy when, you know, being born a boy and then being trying to pray the girl inside away and all that. So the importance of living an authentic life. So it's a beautiful movie. It's streaming for free now on Reverie. So stream it. It's free on Reverie, which is its own streaming app. It's okay. wonderful. Well done, Angela. Very, I've never heard of very Reverie. Impressed. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm glad that you mentioned that. Um, you can see it for free now um, with that streaming service. Okay, Apple TV Plus has luck which is rated G. Yes, we don't get a lot of rated G movies that are good for the whole family. This one really is. Imagine if Little Orphan Annie had never been adopted. That's what okay. this movie kind of asks. <laughs> so this orphan is aged out of the orphanage and then she follows a cat to the land of luck where there's good and bad luck created. It's visually delightful, like any Pixar film, but it's not Pixar, but it's an allegory for like, what would you do if you won the lottery? Great message, good for all ages. Stream it now on Apple TV+. Plus. Okay, we're running out of time. Pray really fast. R on Hulu. Yeah, this one was so bad. First of all, it's oh. a mess. I just couldn't believe this movie. It is a prequel to the Predator series. I never saw those, but it takes place in the Northern Great Plains in the early 1700s. A girl and her dog, she's a hunter. She's got a bow, but she's not like Katniss. It's the most gross, decomposing animals, wildlife. There's no story. It's no story in all blood and grossness. And then this Predator comes in, which is just this killing machine, doesn't explain why. It should have been an origin movie for that Predator, and it's oh. not Skip It. It's streaming on Hulu, but Skip It. Thank you for saving our time. You're welcome. You know, I appreciate that about you. Ryan, thank you so much. You thank look fantastic. you. Fantastic. As too. always, we appreciate your time. So many things you reviewed, and what a great movie you did with that comedian. You can like Ryan J on Facebook, follow him on Instagram and Twitter, and for his full entertainment reviews, check out his website. It's Ryan J Reviews.